All right. Next uh, item on our agenda is a principal's report. Pam? Um, well, I, I have a brief report because I was, uh, as you know, gone on vacation for a while and we're just gearing back up. Um, but on June 21st, when I returned, um, I was able to take a group of students and faculty and administrators to an event at the uh, down in Chicago at the Marriott Hotel. We were invited by the Josephson Institute of Ethics, which is the group that um, runs Character Counts. They're the organization that has that uh, that started Character Counts. And Michael Josephson is the founder, and he was there. And the Board of Governors had their annual meeting, and they every year ask for a school to come in that is using character counts as the foundation of what they're trying to work with students on. So um, I selected um, with some other teacher leaders a, a group of students to go down and, and three graduates and I'm hoping that we can bring these students forward you know once we're back on schedule to recognize uh, students and also the teachers and staff that were involved. So. Um, it was a list of uh, 13 kids, and then Art Ostro, the athletic director, John Passarella, the assistant principal for student affairs, um, Kristen Smetana, our new assistant principal for curriculum instruction and assessment went, Patty Young uh, as math teacher and uh, character counts teacher leader came. And we covered many topics, but the kids actually selected what we would present and what artifacts we would share with them in their folders and what pictures they wanted on the slides to talk about the different things. And so we co I covered administrative um, support and infrastructure and how we weave the message into everyday life here and things like the uh, ethical thinking curriculum and internet safety curriculum and digital citizenship we cover. Um, Patty covered teacher leadership and training and how we use it in the curriculum. Um, John covered pro-social um, skill development. The students talked about, the graduates talked about the social and cultural changes the two years before Character Counts was here and two years after and what they've noticed a difference in, in what it's like to be a student here. Um, talked about the anti-bullying initiatives. Uh, John Passarella talked about improvement and discipline data that we have to indicate it is making a difference. Um, some students and Art Ostro talked about the athletic initiatives like adopting a team and how every group does service projects and the impact that's having on, on the clubs and the teams. Um, another group talked about freshman orientation, conflict resolution skills we do with the freshmen, how students teach students, and others talked about the motivational speakers we've got in and what they, we've done on cyberbullying. So it was very well received. Uh, the, I was invited to come and join them for dinner that evening so they could find out more about why it's working here and how we could capitalize the, on that and hopefully um, inspire other schools. And so um, the, the conversations will continue with this organization. They see us as, as a shining star, would like to do a case study on RB, would like others to be able to come and do site visits here to see what's going on. Um, would like to talk to me further so I can help advise on kind of a national level just to give advice from a leadership standpoint. So that was a very exciting day. And so my hope is rather than naming all the students, I would be able to bring them in front of you and we could recognize them in person. So you could speak to them about that experience. Um, Mrs. Bilesman, yeah. have you made plans to bring them over here? Uh, yes the students? Or uh, no, I mean the people from Character Counts. Or um, we, they do come. A national trainer comes and will come again in October. They do a national. We, we provide, right in this room, a site for them to train, and then they train for free. It's an 800, close to a $900 three-day training, and they provide free spaces for our students, or for our teacher leaders or administrators here, three or four spots. And then um, we have had people from around the country come here for their training. So they are, the Board of Governors are from all over the country. They're CEOs of, you know, major corporations or retired from the Air Force or, you know, it depends what they were doing. And so their Board of Governors, they meet from all, come from all over the country and they, they have a meeting in different places. So um, they met in Chicago, so they were looking for a Chicago area school. Are they going to pay us a visit? Are they going to, Michael Josephson said he'd fly out if, if we want him to, but in, instead, actually, you know, he, he's going to, I think I'm flying out there and I'm going to be um, giving them some advice on how to work with schools and to, and to use our, they want to help us with some resources. They would like to help um, connect us to some national grants. They want to um, provide leadership opportunities for some of our students to present. So there's all kinds of exciting things that they see a potential for that would really um, benefit our school and benefit character education in general 
across the United States, but they see RB as a very special place, and it was an exciting opportunity for the students who participated. So how many high schools presented from the state of Illinois at this meeting? Just, we were the only ones. So why don't you tell them about what happened at the dinner with the board of, one of the board members? One of the board members has been on the board for, I think, close to 15 years, and he said after our students left, in fact, they got so many compliments on on how articulate, how poised they were, how you know professional they were in the presentation, how passionate, and how they could really tell, uh, you know, how it's touched their lives and made a difference, and uh, in their school and themselves personally. But after um, one of the, after the students left, the gentleman left the room and took a break, and he called his wife and said, "I now know why I've, what I've been devoting my life and why I've been doing this for so many years. I just saw the reason why in front of me. And he said he, he had such energy and enthusiasm after that. The students were the talk of the rest of their meeting. And, and um, I've put together a group of pictures for the students. I have a packet for them and um, a thank you note that probably went out to them today. So um, each one should find a picture, a little bit blurry, but they'll find a picture because it was a dark room um, of them presenting so that they have a memento of their day. So the online? The lapel oh, the lapel pin. Okay, so you gotta hear this story, this is a good story. The executive director, I don't have it on, the executive director oh. of the Board of Governors took off his pin. He has a lapel pin of the, six, it's just six, pillars and he gave it to me said only board members have this gold pin but I want you to have mine so he and he said I request yeah. that you wear it every day okay I hope he's not watching this because I don't <laughs> have it on. <laughs> he will. But, uh, I have silver jewelry on it I was, I think of that. but in any event that was very honorable. I was, <laughs> I was um, very touched by that so I told the students as we were planning even though this is an honor for you to do and this will be a, a life experience that you'll remember um, and look back on with great pride you will do more for them than, than this experience is going to do for you. And that's exactly what they got when they were in that room. All this feedback from the people that have devoted their lives to this, to that um, thank you for coming. We usually see little children who come and sing a song for us or something, but you're talking about how you're reasoning through decisions by using these values and the skills that they're trying to teach you. And so um, it, it's very exciting to us to see this being done at a high school level where a lot of Places aren't doing that, so that was uh, exciting for the kids. Well, I think. Is there going to be any uh, publication of your experience there? The, um, you know, our they're planning experience? on doing a case study, and when they do a case study, they they interview a lot of people and they write it up, and then they publish it, and it's on their website, and they push it out. Um, they have are asked the, for these pictures. They they've yeah. got uh, they put in a request, and they've asked that they be able to use these on their blogs and it, I went on the website and there, I was hoping to tell you if you go on the website you'll see our kids posted because they, oh, okay. they they usually post you know who did the presentation and some of the things that the student said um, so they um, they are planning on doing that they just haven't done it yet could so we uh, uh, put a link on our website to their website so we can see what went sure. on there as soon as it goes up I, I will link that Excellent. believe me uh, it would be exciting um, so that's, that's I'm great. hoping that we can we can get some coverage because it's, it's a very exciting thing we're out there so the presentation the presentation was supposed to be 15 or 20 minutes with a question and answering period afterwards we didn't get very far our three graduates one of whom was mr. Cindy's daughter <laughs> just started talking and Michael was so excited about what they were saying he started questioning them and, and you know so we went about an hour and 15 yeah. minutes probably from beginning to end because so many of them just peppered the students with questions and really trying to engage them uh, on not just what they wanted to present but also asking them you know what do your peers think about it what you know how do you use it practically in, in a day how do you think this will affect you in your future decisions and um, it was it was very interesting one student at the end said I'm so proud of my school too after they complimented RB she said I I didn't realize everything we were doing I saw my piece with freshman orientation I didn't know what the uh, you know what was going on in ethics I didn't know it was having this impact on uh, the discipline numbers so she said I'm proud so I learned something just by being here today too. It was a it was a fabulous you know uh, experience and, and it was gratifying. I was asking for a different reason if you're going to bring the students, maybe you can put 15 or 20 minutes aside and they can do the presentation. I think they would be proud to show you what they created. Yeah, yeah. Because make sure we get the kids because some might be going to college. Yeah. So. Yep. 
Oh, so we'll be happy to do that. Yeah. Good. We could Skype them in with our new technology. That's right. Yeah. Easy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we started five minutes late because. Okay. All right. Uh, Thank any you. questions for Pam? And the, right. the only other thing I was going to add is that residency is coming up. So all of you parents that are watching oh. online, um, you were able this year to select your own appointment. This is something that I really am excited to, to offer to people. Rather than giving you a card that dictates the time to you, you Sorry. can go in and, and select what you want for your family. And that gives you some, some variability. Obviously, we, you know, we still have those four main days and then the days for the, the transfer students and people who are out of town. But you know, I think people have appreciated that. If you haven't made your appointment, we've been monitoring it. It's been going very smoothly. Um, and the link's right online, right on the news uh, section. But if you have problems, just call Ms. Presta. She'd be happy to help you. If you don't have a computer, and we'll make sure that um, you get that. You should get an email reminder. We're hoping that it all works well um, for a first time. Good. Any other questions for Pam? Pam, we're not going to lose you as a consultant to this organization, are we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think so. They, I, they asked me to do some things, and I said, I do have a full-time job, you know. Okay. So Three first-round draft choices. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>